Hey, how are you all doing today? My name is Harrison, also known as Steams AUS, and today what I will be bringing you all is a bit of a video on my shoe collection, showing you the type of shoes that I do have to dance in, as well as recommending what I think are the best types of shoes to dance in that I do have at the moment. And so pretty much I'll just be going through the types of shoes that I have, showing you what I like the most about it, what I like the least about it, and pretty much just hopefully I'll be able to give you some sort of recommendation to um, have a shoe that you really enjoy to dance in. So anyway, let's get into it. Alright, so this first shoe I got here is the Nike Hirachi and I'm pretty sure that every dancer in this community of Cutting Shapes and Shuffle is very familiar with it. Um, yeah, just so many dancers have it and I kind of hopped on the bandwagon as well about the end of 2016 because it is a really good shoe, it is super lightweight. Um, you can just do so much in it. The design's really nice as well. I kind of enjoy what's um, happening on the white part of the shoe here. I really like the symbol for it, but before I stop talking about this shoe, I also do have a second variation of it. That first pair I had um, that I just showed you, I've had them for around, um, yeah, almost two years now, but um, I guess they're being quite um, used, so I've danced in them a lot. So I did pick up a second pair. The variation's a little different. I might put on a couple of videos as well that I have with them. So this second um, sort of variation, it's probably even more lightweight and definitely pick them up if you haven't. It's a great shoe. All right, so this second shoe I have here now is called the Adidas EQT ADV support. And when I first got this shoe, it was really, really good. Um, it was just really lightweight, as most of my shoes are, and it still obviously is lightweight. But the sole especially, it was really, really nice. It was um, really high on the, the back and really low at the front. And because of this, it really made dancing um, really easy. I'll just show you a bit more of the design now. So that's kind of what it looks like at the front. Um, one of the side, the back and the other side. And so another thing I wanted to say about this shoe was um, that for around a year, it was really good for me. Um, I didn't have, have any real problems with it, but that was until probably um, maybe two or three months ago, I found the sole just got um, really bad it just got like really low and it really um, stopped me from dancing well in them and that's kind of why I've stopped dancing in them and so overall I did really like the shoe until probably <laughs> a year later because I guess I've worn them a lot and yeah that's pretty much all I have to say about that shoe all right so you may have noticed I just kind of transitioned and that's because it's getting dark and the lighting in my room isn't so good so I'm in the bathroom right now but the, the lighting's a lot better in here, so I'm gonna keep going. Anyway, so the next shoe I have is the Nike Air Max 95. So I just kind of put it around, show you a little bit. And this shoe is my, probably my all time favorite for dancing in. It is so good. Uh, I don't really have anything bad to say about it. Um, it's more heavy than the other shoes I have, um, but it's really good once you get used to it because when I first bought them, I really liked the design, so that's why I got them. But when I was dancing in them, I just found it so much harder. But uh, it just took me maybe like a two, three months and then after that, I really like the shoe. It's really um, tough at the front as well, really strong. So if you want a toe spin, it's definitely good for it. Just make sure that um, you don't toe spin on concrete because I've, I've kind of ripped it a little there. <laughs> But that's pretty much all I have to say about it. It's, yeah, definitely my favorite shoe that I have, so you should definitely get it. It's a little bit more expensive, but it's worth it. All right, so this final shoe that I'll be showing you all now is called the Adidas Pod. So uh, this is the design of it. And honestly, um, it's really nice design, I find. I really like how this kind of a little sort of cut in the middle there between the white part and the rest of the shoe. But it's also really weird at the same time. And when I first started dancing in these, 
I found it really strange, but it, it kind of just took a little bit of getting used to it. I still am getting used to it though. It's taken a little bit of time, um, so I still don't really have a lot to say about it. Maybe in the future I'll make another little video like this and I'll kind of update on how I find these shoes. But this shoe, it's really lightweight, which is something that I do like with dancing. However, with an exception with the Nike Air Max, which is a more heavy shoe. But definitely, if you're looking for something lightweight, I think it's a, I think it's a good shoe. However, I'm not sure if you should take my advice yet. That's all I have, um, that's all I really know for now. Anyway, that's going to wrap up this video. I hope you did enjoy it and it gave you some sort of insight into what sort of shoes to buy. Um, I hope this video did help you out. <laughs> um, it was just sort of a random idea I thought of and I'm like, yeah, let's make it into a video. Um, but anyway, if you did enjoy the video, please remember to drop a like down below. I'd really appreciate that. Um, if you have any questions or want to leave a comment, there's a comment section. So if you have anything to say, go ahead and make sure you subscribe to my channel as well. As I've said previous, I want to be a lot more active here. So be prepared for a lot more videos. And also, if you haven't already, follow me on Instagram. My at is at steamsaus, the same as my YouTube. I'm active there as well and tomorrow I will be posting my first um, sort of tutorial there, 60 second tutorial. So if you're looking to learn this style of dance, definitely check that out. And that's all I have to say for now. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you all later.